because we are slowing right down now, so it might grab us. Go on. Do it. Do it. It's got to get us, surely. There we go. Because we're actually plummeting into, <laughs> into the moon at the minute, so we need to fix this like, quite quickly. You see the moon's here, so we're probably going to have to... Why can't I turn? Why can't I do anything? Um, has Jib died or something? What's he so happy about? I can't do anything. I can't EVA, it's not going to do anything. I can't thrust. Is the game like glitched out or something? Have I done something? Have I pressed a button somewhere? I shouldn't have. I can't do anything, literally. Normally you press control, like you can click on this and it says like control from here. It's not letting me do anything. I'm literally plummeting towards the earth and I can't do anything, uh, the moon, I can't do anything about it. Oh, it's working now. What the hell? Was I still speeding up or something? God damn it, this might be bad now. Let's try it and sort this out. Right, well, that's going the wrong way, isn't it? God damn it. We have very little fuel. We can't afford to make these mistakes. Okay, let's try from here. I think this is what it's... I think this will get us an orbit. Or attempt to, at least. The thing is, cause we, we should be able to get quite a low orbit. Like, 20,000 metres should be enough. Get a bit higher just in case. There we go. We'll do about there. Okay. There's the earth, there's the moon. Very little fuel, but we'll be fine. Trust me. I'm a scientist. There's the moon. We will land on you one day. I'm sure of it. Right, I want to try and get us into an orbit. Because I think I'm going to have to, because I was just going to shoot off that way into space. We should be okay, because we still have an orbit of the Earth, but we won't leave the Earth's atmosphere, uh, the, the Earth's gravi gravitational pull. Okay. Right, let's do some science. Oh, look at that. I want to land on it. I don't have to leave if we do. Okay, so let's do some mystery goo. The goo seems to be less dense here. Okay, cool. Great scientific study there. And we'll log temperature. We get loads of science for this. Measuring temperature of space appears to be quite impossible as there's no matter around to be either hot or cold. Okay. Close it back up. And we'll do this, we'll try and do it on the way back as well, in like in the middle of the space rather than near the moon. So it's the same we do this on the moon, we're gonna get loads of more science as well. Okay, so let's get the retrograde and we'll try and speed this up. No, no, we want to slow it down, don't we? Not really a bad idea, but sure, I think we'll have to. Hmm, this might get stuck on the moon. <laughs> I've got no, we're not, we're not, we're not doing this. We're, we're going to die if we do this. I've got an idea. We're going to shoot off into space. We're just going to leave the moon. We're just going to zip around it and leave it behind. It should work, trust me. Look how small we are. Okay. Bye, Moon. I'm hoping this works and this doesn't screw us over. We should be okay. Just slow us down enough, leaving the, leaving the orbit, to get us back into orbit of Kerbin. Because it looks like we're shooting off into space at the minute, it's in the middle of nowhere. But I think this will work. We should leave the gravitational pull in a second. And there we go, we've got an Earth on again. And look at that. So what we can do now, it's three million meters away, but once we get to here, <laughs> we can uh, retrograde and it should bring this right up close to Earth. 
must just bring it directly on it, and it's going to be oh, it's going to be such a bad re-entry, but it's, it might be the, our only chance of getting back with this little fuel. Wow, I did a time of a hundred. Look how slow we're going. Okay, I might try and do some science around here as well, like in deep space, kind of, because we're further away from the moon. Look, there's Minmus. There it is over there. I want to go there as well. I can't remember if the gravity. I swear the gravity is really high on Minmus. It's really hard to get out of its um, gravitational pull. It's hard to exit. Like if you land on the planet, it's hard to get away. It takes up a lot of fuel. Okay, let's do some science. Look how far away we are. Look. Wow. Well done, Jeb. Okay, well, I'm so far out, I can't actually do it, anything. I'm still time warping. I was still time warping. I'll stop doing that. Crew report. It's very round. <laughs> oh, see, I, I, didn't, oh, I didn't unlock EVA. We should have done that. That would have been good. Okay, let's open this. Um, which one didn't we do? This one. Observe Goose. It doesn't think this far out. The Goose feels right at home here. Oh, <laughs> is it going to turn into an alien? Okay. Uh, can we log temperature? Yeah, I think it's the same. I think exception this won't actually give us any more science, but sure, the hey. Right, we're nearly at the apoapsis. We're going very slow. Right, let's just get our retrograde. Oh, overshot it a bit. I have very little fuel, so we have to get this periapsis to disappear and land on the Earth, basically. Let's just try and get as close to the apoapsis as possible. Do okay, right. Let's do this. We've got very little fuel. So it's bringing it in. Like we've got this little bit of fuel left. It's bringing it in quite a lot. tight. <laughs> Come on, get down to zero. We need it to just crash into the earth. Now whatever fuel we have left, we're going to need to slow down as we plummet towards the earth. Yeah, we've got plenty. It's fine. Come on, disappear, periapsis. And we're done. Great. <laughs> so I'll left it as far back as possible, so hopefully we can try and get an arc. Okay, let's do this. Let's go back towards Earth. Try to speed things up. I don't want to speed up too much because sometimes you press it and then you end up just going vroom. You just like do a massive orbit like this. Look. Okay. So we've actually been. It's been four days this trip to the moon. Okay, so as you can see, we're going very, very fast into towards the Earth. So, probably going to have to start thinking about slowing our descent down a little bit as much as we can. I think. Couple of 2,000 meters per second, oh my god. Okay, so the Earth's slowing back in. Right, let's just try and slow our ourselves down as much as possible. But oh, I don't know if that's a good idea though. This is going to make us just drop straight down. Mm. Let's just try it, see what happens. We've got a heat shield, so I think we'll be okay, but. I don't know. Let's try and slow ourselves down a little bit. Maybe if we got like, aim. Aim up this way. I was thinking it might still give us the arc if we came this way, but I don't think it will. Okay, well, we're out of fuel, so it's as slow as we can go now. And that's it. We're going to plummet into the earth at a very, very fast pace, and we're probably going to burn up and die. Hopefully, that's not the case, because we've done so much. I'm dreading this. We've got a decent arc going into the atmosphere, I think. But God, this is going to be difficult.
There it goes. Oh, we're gonna die. Look at how fast we're going. Okay, let's try and just get onto the, the retrograde as much as possible to get all the heat onto the heat shield. So we definitely needed this. <laughs> if we didn't have this, we'd definitely 100% be dead right now. It's our only chance of keeping us alive. How fast we're going, we're absolutely speeding towards Earth. Okay, it's sloping right down now, so it means we're about to hit the atmosphere. Oh my god, look how fast we're going. 3,000. We might just burn up and die. I've never gone this fast before into Earth, so. Oh, that's scary. Look at that heat. Look at the temperature. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it's okay, it's just the fuel we had left. That's the heat, temp the heat overlay I put on. We might be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. <laughs> oh, yes, so much. Oh no. Oh, that's that's a shame. Okay. Okay. Well, look, we achieved a goal as well. I think Jeb's gonna have to die, we can't keep reverting it. Oh, I'm sorry Jeb, you're dead. He might come back, who knows. I don't think he will. But I think we might still keep, oh, we won't get all the data and stuff, will we? We keep the contract, we still technically went by the moon, we just died. Oh, what the hell, we've lost Jeb. Sorry Jeb. We'll have to hire a new pilot, it's fine. It's fine. Does that count? It counts as a contract at least. I guess that's something. We didn't go to the moon for nothing. Jeb will be remembered, trust me. So now we need a new pilot. Oh, there you go. We use Val Valentina. Can I use her? How do I use her? I guess I'll just do it. I'm sorry, Jeb. You're not missing. He's dead. Can I bring him back? I should provide assistance and find the vessel. Scientists can boost the value of data from science experiments. Engineers are capable of repairing broken parts. That's cool. So eventually when we get a three man pod, we can use all three of these. I'm okay, people playing pool. Okay, well we have to, what we have to do, we have to do it this way. Um, do this and then we have to just pick Valentina. There we go. Oh well. That's a shame. We lost a lot of money doing that as well. We lost like 10 grand in that. We got to the moon though, like I said. And we got back. We just went too fast into the orbit. I probably could have survived that. If I had, um. If I wanted to slide down so much, I reckon I would be fine. I, I went. Oh, I don't know. I burnt up and died. That's a shame. We can unlock one of these now. That's something, right? I can't want one of these though. We need this uh, this one, like I said. We need these. Hmm. Maybe I should. Un I can unlock one of these if I wanted to. I don't know if I want to or not. We could try aviation. I would like to fly a plane. Should we do it? Let's just wait and see. Let's see if we've got any contracts. Perform temperature scans of the moon. Measure temperature in a space flight below 8,000 meters near zone. See, I have to do it in certain sectors and stuff. We need to scan the moon. Rendezvous two vessels in orbit. That's kind of hard to do. Um, I'll show you a screenshot now of a. a um, a space station I built when it first came out on Steam. I built a space station and that was all docking. The docking is so much fun on this. I really want to build a space station eventually. Get science stuff on it would be really cool. We can get Kerbals to one day if you're up there. It would be well good. So that gives us 10 science. Just complete two different vessels in orbit. We're in visual range of each other. What? And kill their relative velocity to achieve this goal? What does that mean? 
the ring just get you know the same orbit as them basically so that's kind of easy to do getting two things in orbit is kind of easy to, easy to do it's just getting them at the same you know rendezvousing which is probably the hardest part I'm actually saying that you only need the orbit slightly bigger to catch up with them and then you just slow the orbit back down and it is quite easy to actually do Spies in three days. Like, how are we going to get two things up in space in three days? These contracts are hard. Science data from the surface of the moon. See, that makes us four science. It's like, what's the point? We have ten years to do it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, see, these are pretty damn hard. Like, is this one actually ever run out? Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? See, if these didn't run out, it'd be great. They all expire. Oh, I don't know what to do. I can't want to accept this one. We'll try this one. We'll try build two satellites and just get them close to each other somehow. I think that's our only goal. Our only way of doing that. That should be easy to get in orbit as well. We just get any spacecraft into orbit. Um, try that way, I guess. Uh, did we unlock anything? I can't remember. Did I actually unlock it? I didn't unlock anything. So I think we're going to wait. Because I need this. We've really screwed ourselves over with the ones without miss missing those missions. So. Do we actually have anything? But nothing. Great. Now, how do you upgrade it so you can EVA in space? Is it this thing? No, this thing. 75 grand. Kerbals can dis disembark on Kerbin. Wait. Oh, there we go. Kerbals can form EVAs. Kerbals can, on EVA, can place flags. Okay, 75 grand. Easy. That's fine. Uh, what does this upgrade do? Active strategies. I need to look into that still. Uh, we'll just do research science limit 500. Oh, that's pretty good. They can't afford it, but Jesus. Kerbals, EVAs can collect surface samples. So that would be good, wouldn't it? We'd like going to the moon and just getting surface, surface samples from around Kerbin and stuff. Resource transfer available. See, that sounds good. Um, what does this do? That one is. This just means we can have bigger, unlimited vessel size. That'd be good. That is the next one. Of this unlimited part supported. We can build anything as big as we want. Custom action groups available. That probably just lets us do track station upgrade required for this. Okay, so I think we'll end it there. Next time we're going to try and get two things into orbit and get them to meet. It's actually quite easy to do. I know I said the moon was easy. I did get there in like a tank and a half like I said I would. We just burnt up on it on, on a return. That's fine. We've learned from our mistakes. Jeb's died. He will always be remembered. We'll name every spaceship after Jeb from now on. Um, but yeah, I guess that's let's delete these contracts we did on them. But yeah, I'm going to end it there. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.